So as I was saying, now we only work with the plasma and the plasma is the way the universe works. We were teaching in the past week, two or three weeks here, we have only and concentrate only on the behavior of the plasma, what plasma does, how it works, and how we expect to use the plasma technology for every need in a space, the way, for example, the energy of the sun in gravitational magnetic field, as it disperses across the solar system, changes to different matters like uh, nitrogen on Earth, helium on in Saturn, and other materials, as it loses its strength in gravitational magnetic field. And as these materials interact in different conditions of plasmatic gravitational magnetic field, like Earth, they lead to manifestation of the field energy of the entity like water, like carbon, like nitrogen. And then in a given condition, through interaction again of different strength gravitational magnetic field lead to the tangibility of the physical water or physical nitrogen or iron or the rest. So now we have gone into the level of the working of the universe. We don't talk about matter state and separation of the atomic or molecular structure, but we speak only about one thing, plasma and the plasma to us is one thing, interaction of magnetic fields. Starting from the highest strength to the lowest. Starting from gravitational and or magnetical. And how these two interact, we only consider with this from now on and nothing else. Do the plasma or does a plasma have a continuity in its operation and where does the continuity breaks or when the process starts that leads to the continuity of different strength plasmas which lead in totality in what we call the magrav of the strength at the given point of a plasma. Before we go to this, there are a number of things. As usual, we have to make announcements that you understand. Uh, first of all, as Rick mentioned, next week, next Friday, we have organized the meeting of the World Ambassadors for World Peace, Energy in Exchange for uh, Peace. We have been told a number of ambassadors or delegations from embassies will attend. We did not know at the time when we organized it, unknown to the general public, the Italian government has invited all the world ambassadors in Rome to Milan for the Milan Expo. So they are all being shipped up to north while we are all down south. And there is no way they could come down. So it in fact is a blessing for us because the governments were just to be informed of what is coming. The public is to carry the technology. So in that meeting, we will release a number of systems to the ambassadors with a blueprint we have a number of national ambassadors flying in or flying out through the conference to take units back for the nations or for the leaders of the nations. So we have, for the first time, public ambassadors and a governmental ambassadors in the same meeting. We have people flying in from China to take units for His Excellency Presidency of China. We have Armin flying out to Armenia for the president of Armenia. We have Alex coming just to go back to Nigeria for the president of Nigeria and president of Ghana. And then we have people who fly to Moscow for President Putin and President Obama will be sent to New York. So for the first time, we're bringing national ambassadors and people's ambassadors at the same time together. So it's the first time we merged the two together that the government as one nation, one planet, we work that way. The title of the conference is called One Nation, One Race, One Planet. So this is the beginning. We do not, in the space, we don't have government. Who rules the spaceship? American government, Belgian government, Iranian government, who does? 
we work as one nation, we have no government. So we bring the nationals and the governments together to start understanding in a space we are one. And this process will carry on. On the 16th, the first batch of power units will be distributed out to the people who placed the order as the first phase. The following week on the 26th, second batch will be sent out. We have a special reason why we are doing this. And then on the 6th of November, the third batch and the fourth batch will go out on the 16th of November. So we are spreading back to the beginning of the first order to go out. What we are expecting from you is give us a feedback when you receive your units. The units are put at 2.2 to 3.2 kilowatts on resistance, which means if you have a passive or non-resistive system like LED, like computers, like fridge freezers, you can use as much electricity as you like. What we like you to do, the system has a heat thermal system, which means if you overload it, it'll break, stops. When it cools down, it comes back into operation. In case people overload it to see the limitation. We want to know the limitation that we can adopt the new generation, the next generation. So, in fact, we are developing a video and with us together across the world. We have, we will receive all the information if we need to adapt. It's a solid state matter. There is nothing which can go wrong with it. Physically, you can kick it. Even if you fall to pieces, it still carry on working. This is the beauty of it. It's the way it's built. But what we need to know, because for the first time you realize this unit is not for you to have electricity. You are totally looking on the wrong side and in the conference we explain it. That's what is there for the governments and people to understand. We keep the presentation live on Streamline so people can see it. At the same time, we will not show any ambassadors or the rest will be hidden because of the security reasons. The conference is tightly, will be secure, and at the same time, we will allow certain number of people to attend the conference as people representative. Those people who we invite, we will give them invitation coded that we know who they are and who we have invited, so nobody can walk in. The place of the conference will be kept totally, as much as we can, confidential for security reasons, but at the same time public enough that people who come across the world be part of the evolution of the science. So what we're doing next week, you will see the first generation of the system going out, second generation on the 26th, or not the second, the second batch, then on the 16th, the third batch, and the rest. We sit within the legal parameters we put by the governments for the application and the use of the system. We have been approached by a number of people who would like to be the agents or sell the products in the country because they're too small or too, uh, what do you call it, not having the facilities. Cash Foundation Worldwide will support this if it is through Asia, through Philippines, if it's through Europe, from here and in time, America and what they call it, Africa will come into operation. The Cash Foundation collaboration with the uh, Ghanaian Special Institute has taken its own course. Now we are fully in teaching process in Ghana. Our representative, who's a full, uh, what you call, employment of the foundation, he's already been teaching there for a couple of weeks to the scientists, to doctors, and now after two weeks of explanation and experiment, they have a start understanding the process and what it can bring to the nation. So it's slowly within the next two or three weeks, the Ghanaians will start producing their own energy units, their own uh, agriculture units and the rest of it through the support of uh, 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 Benjamin, who's there full time as a Ghanaian. On the other hand, um, during the teaching of this week, we showed the unit which we have of the first line of production for testing here under conditions we know more than the factory. And the unit, if you have the video, you can show it for us, Rick. 
you can see the system is very simple. You have where you plug in and you have where you take power from. These are plasma units. These are not generators. They are not there to generate power. Well, as a byproduct, you can have some power. We can go a few watts or a few kilowatts in what you need at home at more or less zero cost. And if you go to your resistive heating up to 2.2, and in some cases 3.2 kilowatts, you will see 60, we've seen between 50 and 70% reduction in consumption. What it means is for every kilowatt you produce as a heat, you actually see maximum, let's say 0.4% or 40% payment on your bill. So you save 60% on heating resistive units. Uh, I just got a few minutes, I've got to go. Oh, what, I brought you, what I brought you to see, this is the final version. It's the first power unit of the production line. These wires, and that's the whole pack. Weighs 900 grams. We've been testing it whole day, this morning since 11 o'clock. So, the, what do you call it? the car unit will be a single wire, and uh, this is the first one of the production. We have to check before they finish the rest. Congratulations, so, Mr. Cash. <laughs> well, we promise you it does. It needs three weeks to settle fully, but the car unit is the same, and it does what we said, up to two to three kilowatts of uh, non-resistive, and it does work up to 67% of resistive, which we bring it down to maximum more or less 100% in the coming weeks. But this is what the ambassadors will take with them. Very so nice. Very simple, and that's all you're going to see. If you want to take a picture for Thursday, we can show it. And this is the final production. I mean, that's the final kit. And this yeah. is the one that you can kick and, and throw everywhere? Pardon? You can kick this one around like a football? Oh, harder. But please don't kick it. It's one kilo if you want to kick. It is virtually, as you see it, it's a totally sealed box with two wires. The American version will be white. The European world version will be in blue. Because the American version is a fire resistive. We cannot produce it in anything but white or black to comply with the American regulation. All right. So you see it, and we've been testing it for nearly three, four hours, and we tested in different circuits all the measurements, and this is the final version. And we think we can reduce it by another 50% in the coming weeks. But this is the beginning. So uh, what we promised, we deliver. And now it's totally the final version. People can do whatever they like on the end. And we explain what you can do on the end in the ambassadorial presentation. So at least carry on teaching, and we'll try to see what we do with the next one. Any questions? Don't ask me to open it up. No. So, so you look like you got a male and a female. No, uh, there is no male or no female. No, no, either. no. I mean the plug-in. <laughs> the plug-in. You got a to give. You can't be one way only. The plug-in anyway. looks like it has a, a distaff and a uh, prong. No problem. So we've seen the final version, and this is without anything else. Nobody can damage it. It's more or less damage proof, unless you go with the hacksaw on it. So, at least as we usually break everything with the students who are knowledge seekers, now you've seen it, it's in final steps. And we are on target, it will be delivered to the ambassadors on Friday, and all the deliveries will be met up to 1 million pieces in November. So we can meet, but there is a huge review on the price which we have to see how they're going to review the prices. They're going to drop drastically. We drop the price up to 50% plus in the coming weeks. So, but I brought it for you to see what we promised we do, we done. And now, I'm going to think you're taking one to three presidents. You better have a look at it. So we'll see what happens. Okay, anyway, we done what we said. And at least, as usual, you see the final product.
And if you want, I can throw it up as well, but a lot of people don't like it. You can do whatever you like with it. It's solid state. Nothing can go wrong with it. I've seen a video done by the Italians. They say he kicks it and he picks it up. Now you can actually kick it as well, but nothing happens. So it's solid state, total solid. Nothing going to go wrong with it. Anyway, I've got to go and finish my work. I disturbed, but it's a good disturbance. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Thank you, Mr. Cash. We will show the final, what you call, not the final, we show this for next time in ambassadorial meeting. We'll be given to them with a blueprint of the uh, design. We see this essential because it will take governments at least six months to 12 months to realize what Jagger North has hit them. Because this is an industrial revolution beyond understanding and most of the scientific advisors to the government don't even understand how to advise the government. By the time they Thank come you. to advise. Hello, it will take between six and 12 months and it dropped out then. Can you hear me now? Yep. Yep. Okay, what we said takes six to 12 months for the governments to realize what has hit them with this technology, which by then there is enough in each nation that the government follows the people. In so many ways, we had to do it this way and we carry on doing it this way till we bring the total technology out. As I explained, or you heard in the video, we have managed to reduce the total structure through understanding of the new structure of working of the plasma. And this has brought us the reduction in size and with it has come a drastic reduction in the price. But we keep the price as it is because we want to distribute as much as possible across the board. But we have got a strategy in November, October, November and December, how we're going to spread. Don't come to us, it says now it's different, it's got cheaper. You're paying for your abuse of the nation, your abuse of your environment, to help the others to stop the process. So we will keep the price the same till at least end of November, December. And when we see competition, that is again by the Cash Foundation supporters, we totally will bring the price down to around 100 to 150 euro per unit. We can drop the price literally in the coming months to less than $100. But you got to understand, we are not milking it to make a lot of profit at the beginning. We are making a lot of what to give to the people who don't have it. And at the same time, allowing the technology to spread worldwide the rapid way that it cannot be blocked. A lot of new technologies like this have been blocked because of not full planning. A scientist on his own trying to bring something in and he gets puffled and brought down. Cash Foundation with the support of millions around the world has given us that opportunity to bring this technology and deliver it in this way. You will see, as I said, on the 16th, we have invited world ambassadors, but we have invited public world ambassadors too, to take it back to the nation and to the liberal leaders. Same time, the same day, numbers will be distributed according to the first orders received, first come, first serve, and then the next batch on the 16th, on the 26th, on the same basis. So what we're trying to explain is that anybody writes to us says, I want my money back, it's cheaper now, you will not get it back, you place the order, because what you did would have been for us as one, we would have gotten one free, now we give four or five free. We take what we need to establish the structure and the rest is free units. What we've decided to do is like making 100, 100 units on a pallet, 200 pieces on a pallet, just living it in public places in poor areas of Italy. Which means the poor people will take unconditional. We'll deliver the same around the world. We deliver pallets to different nations and we'll leave it on the streets for people to take. Indiscriminate. No favoritism. We don't give it to the Cash Foundation supporters to give it to their uncles and their cousins and their uh, mayors who gives it to their family. So we deliver directly into public. We just leave pallets of the units in public domain. People know what it is. 
they come to trust the color and the unit and the name. And they know with it, they save their life, they save their energy. And further on, we leave the same process with the government. We estimate the final cost in the six months, 12 months time should not be more than $10. The new versions of it. Testing it, possibly can we make it cheaper? But you have to remember one critical point. These are plasma reactors. These are not power generators. What does mean is for the first time, every man is not receiving just energy for heating or cooking or whatever for lighting. You receive the total essence of the creation. So in a time to come, you can tap to it and using the same plasma to create your own food, to create the medicine, to create the clothing and everything else you need. Because we are giving you the essence of creation. That's what is called the power unit. It puts power back to the people to do what they like with their life, not the government. At the moment, we connected with the power unit. It's a compromise than a radical change. In a few months' time, when people get used to it, it will be a single cable machine, and by the, within 12 months, there will be no cable coming out of this box. This box will be like the sun, radiating the totality of the energy field a man needs in his house. We'll demonstrate this on the 16th. You will understand more what we're talking about. So don't look, where is my energy? Well, I'm getting two kilowatts, not 10 kilowatts. You're getting millions of kilowatts. Everyday food, everyday energy, everyday water for your body, everyday medicine you need that you have to use and pay for now. So it's a change and it's an evolution. It's an industrial, cultural, scientific evolution. And this is the only way over 20 years of planning I can see can be delivered and it's done now. You're talking about the wireless telephones. If you remember 20 years ago, everything telephone had to have a wire to the wall. Now we can transmit energy, be it for food, be it for uh, heating or whatever, totally wireless. And this is now what is not reach and it's not a dream because we have units which work this way. It's just that making it commercially that you can use it. Sufficient enough, adopted enough, that supplies at least, a, let's say a family of five people or four people for just by going through the system to be energized, to receive everything they need for daily need. No child should go hungry anymore because once we deliver this, you convert the energy in your own body according to your needs. We'll show this in the coming time. Armin hopefully is working on it. So what it does, you're hungry, the system knows what you need energy for. Is it for the brain? Is it for the lung or whatever? It takes from it what it needs. You don't need to eat to digest and to pay the supermarket 100 times more the price of what they pay to at the end of the line in a farmer, he dies of hunger and the bank accounts of the supermarkets get thicker and thicker. One of the conditions I have been forced as a major shareholder in Italy and in consultation with the others who work with us to produce is that all the people who work within the structure to develop any part of workers have to be paid the top value price. No child no slavery, no overtime, but you pay the maximum because it's no use us getting some other suffering the way we see in China. People stay away from the family for years for the Western world to have the most modern things. What happens to the child who has no father or mother for a whole year and it's just the money in the bank to be fed? If you give a chance to a man to work, his family should be with him at least the fruit of the life is shared correctly. And this is what even yesterday I discussed with our team in Philippines. 
make sure workers in the factory are paid the best wages. They have to be, it's our job. We are here to serve and not to be served, and this stays the ethos of the Keshe Foundation now that we've gone into commercialization. Any point, anyone breaks the rule, trying to open up to make what we call sweatshops, will make the first move to close it down, the way we've done with the Peter Piles. I'm not ashamed of bringing this out, I'm proud, because Collectively, as Cash Foundation, we have achieved it. We managed to bring it in public. Now, it's the fruit of the hard work of years. And now we see that we all get benefit by it. We keep the price as it is at about 800 euro, which you know exactly what it is. In time, if you like to pay us 1,000, 10,000, we still accept. <clears throat> but we might bring the price to 199 euro and even 100 euro in the coming months. But Till we don't achieve the saturation point, at least with the poverty in Africa and in Europe. You should understand that in Europe there are more children going hungry at night to bed than in Africa. Because Africa has planned it over centuries and centuries. In Europe, it's not the money in the fridge, in the freezer, the child goes hungry. And if you want to see one of these children, I'll bring it to you to see next week. She eats one meal a day because the parents can't afford doing it. And this is in the Western world. So we are not going to listen to anybody who wants a refund. We'll give a refund, we blacklist you, and nobody will supply you. And we have a system to cover ourselves. So this time around, we all do pay to make sure the ones who don't have, have it on an equal basis that we have it together. We will show the final, what it not the final, we show this for next time in ambassadorial meeting. We will be given to them with a blueprint of the uh, design. We see this essential because it will take governments at least six months to 12 months to realize what Jagger North has hit them. Because this is an industrial revolution beyond understanding and most of the scientific advisors to the government don't even understand how to advise the government. By the time they Thank come you. to advise... Hello, it'll take between six and 12 months and it dropped out then. Can you hear me now? Yep. Yeah. Okay, what we said takes six to 12 months for the governments to realize what has hit them with this technology, which by then there is enough in each nation that the government follows the people. In so many ways, we had to do it this way, and we carry on doing it this way, till we bring the total technology out. As I explained, or you heard in a video, we have managed to reduce the total structure through understanding of the new structure of working of the plasma. And this has brought us the reduction in size, and with it has come a drastic reduction in the price but we keep the price as it is because we want to distribute as much as possible across the board. But we have got a strategy in November, October, November and December, how we're going to spread. Don't come to us, it says now it's different, it's got cheaper. You're paying for your abuse of the nation, your abuse of your environment, to help the others to stop the process. So we will keep the price, the same till at least end of November, December. And when we see competition, that is again by the Cash Foundation supporters, we totally will bring the price down to around 100 to 150 euro per unit. We can drop the price literally in the coming months to less than $100. But you got to understand, you're not milking it to make a lot of profit at the beginning. We are making a lot of what to give to the people who don't have it, and at the same time, allowing the technology to spread worldwide in a rapid way that it cannot be blocked. A lot of new technologies like this have been blocked because of not full planning. A scientist on his own trying to bring something in and he gets puffled and brought down. Cash Foundation, with the support of millions around the world, has given us that opportunity to bring this technology and deliver it in this way. You will see, as I said, on the 16th, 
we have invited world ambassadors, but we have invited public world ambassadors too, to take it back to the nation and to the world leaders. Same time, the same day, numbers will be distributed according to the first orders received, first come, first serve, and then the next batch on the 16th, on the 26th, on the same basis. So, what we're trying to explain is that anybody writes to us says, I want my money back, it's cheaper now, you will not get it back, you place the order, because what you did would have been for us as one, we would have gotten one free, now we give four or five free. We take what we need to establish the structure and the rest is free units. What we've decided to do is like making 100, 100 units on a pallet, 200 pieces on a pallet, just living it in public places in poor areas of Italy. Which means the poor people will take unconditional. We'll deliver the same around the world. We deliver pallets to different nations and we'll leave it on the streets for people to take. Indiscriminate. No favoritism. We don't give it to the Cash Foundation supporters to give it to their uncles and their cousins and their uh, mayors who gives it to their family. So we deliver directly into public. We just leave pallets of the units in public domain. People know what it is. They come to trust the color and the unit and the name. And they know with it, they save their life, they save their energy. And further on, we leave the same process with the government. We estimate the final cost in this six months, 12 months time should not be more than $10. The new versions of it. Testing it, possibly can we make it cheaper? But you have to remember one critical point. These are plasma reactors. These are not power generators. What does mean is for the first time, Every man is not receiving just energy for heating or cooking or whatever, for lighting. You receive the total essence of the creation. So in a time to come, you can tap to it and using the same plasma to create your own food, to create the medicine, to create the clothing and everything else you need because we are giving you the essence of creation. That's what is called the power unit. It puts power back to the people to do what they like with their life, not the government. At the moment, we connected with the power unit. It's a compromise than a radical change. In a few months time, when people get used to it, it will be a single cable machine and by the, within 12 months, there will be no cable coming out of this box. This box will be like the sun, radiating the totality of the energy fields a man needs in his house. We'll demonstrate this on the 16th. You will understand more what we're talking about. So, don't look, where is my energy? Well, I'm getting 2 kilowatts, not 10 kilowatts. You're getting millions of kilowatts. Everyday food, everyday energy, everyday water for your body, everyday medicine you need that you have to use and pay for now. So it's a change and it's an evolution. It's an industrial, cultural, scientific evolution. And this is the only way over 20 years of planning I can see can be delivered and it's done now. You're talking about the wireless telephones. If you remember 20 years ago, everything telephone had to have a wire to the wall. Now we can transmit energy, be it for food, be it for uh, heating or whatever, totally wireless. And this is now what is not reach. And it's not a dream because we have units which work this way. It's just that making it commercially that you can use it sufficient enough, adopted enough, that supplies at least, a, let's say, a family of five people or four people for just by going through the system to be energized, to receive everything they need for daily need. No child should go hungry anymore because once we deliver this, you convert the energy in your own body according to your needs. We'll show this in the coming time.
Amen hopefully is working on it. So what it does, you're hungry, the system knows what you need energy for. Is it for the brain? Is it for the lung or whatever? It takes from it what it needs. You don't need to eat to digest and to pay the supermarket 100 times more the price of what they pay to pittance at the end of the line in a farmer. He dies of hunger and the bank accounts of the supermarkets get thicker and thicker. One of the conditions I have been forced as a major shareholder in Italy and in consultation with the others who work with us to produce is that all the people who work within the structure to develop any part of workers have to be paid the top value price. No child, no slavery, no overtime, but you pay the maximum because it's no use us getting some other suffering the way we see in China. People stay away from the family for years for the Western world to have the most modern things. What happens to the child who has no father or mother for a whole year and it's just the money in the bank to be fed? If you give a chance to a man to work, his family should be with him. At least the fruit of the life is shared correctly. And this is what even yesterday I discussed with our team in Philippines. Make sure workers in the factory are paid the best wages. They have to be. It's our job. We are here to serve and not to be served. And this stays the ethos of the Keshe Foundation now that we've got into commercialization. Any point, anyone breaks the rule, trying to open up to make what we call sweatshops, we'll make the first move to close it down. That will be done with the Peter Piles. I'm not ashamed of bringing this out. I'm proud because collectively as Cash Foundation, we have achieved it. We managed to bring it in public. Now it's the fruit of the hard work of years. And now we see that we all get benefit by it. We keep the price as it is at about 800 euro, which you know exactly what it is. In time, if you like to pay us a thousand, 10,000, we still accept, <clears throat> but we might bring the price to 199 euro and even 100 euro in the coming months. But till we don't achieve the saturation point, at least with the poverty in Africa and in Europe, you should understand that in Europe there are more children going hungry at night to bed than in Africa. Because Africa have planned it over centuries and centuries. In Europe, it's not the money in the fridge, in the freezer the child goes hungry. And if you want to see one of these children, I'll bring it to you to see next week. She is one meal a day because the parents can't afford doing it. And this is in the Western world. So we are not going to listen to anybody who wants a refund. We'll give a refund, we blacklist you, and nobody will supply you. And we have a system to cover ourselves. So this time around, we all do pay to make sure the ones who don't have, have it on an equal basis that we have it together. But I have a very bad news for you. Extremely good news for me. The bad news is, I promised you, and I explained to you some time ago, that the situation with us, with the rise of the second sun, will bring a new dimension to the life on this planet, if it exists. Last night, we have seen the first sign of the rise of the second sun on the horizon of the Earth. I showed it to Caroline and explained exactly how in a matter of two to 30 years before this planet comes to its demise. The second sun has risen, is clearly on the horizon if you read the signs. So, uh, uh, something about the second sun and then uh, you showed it to Caroline, Mr. Kesh? Yes, it's on the horizon, you can see it in the sky. The second sun, the sign of the rise of the second sun, which is the twin sister of the earth, has shown its first sign of arrival. So as humanity, the unit has come the right time. We work together to put the expenditure on moving the man out, or there will be no man to move out. 
if you look in the east direction of the sky, you will see the second sun in a very, very clear way if you know what to look for. This arriving as a cloud and is what you call this galaxial cloud in a package. It's not a star. It's the same as if you have the sun and the sun interacts with the earth and creates light. Now we see the light of the universe, second, second sun arriving. So now it's for you lot to decide where you want to take it, to have more, to get nowhere, or share to go. And this is what the ambassadors have to decide for themselves. Life carries on as normal until the final day. I explained to you a couple of days ago in the teachings that we see the change in the orientation of the, the skies. And last night, for the first time, we have seen the arrival of the signs of the second sun in the deep horizon. And it is very clear in a very short time, in the next couple of years or so, the space agencies will confirm because it's the first time they have seen it, they don't know what to look for. So we work as one, or what do you call it? We all vanish as one. Now, we come to what we call the teachings. In the work of the plasma, we never look and we never see physically how the plasma looks, unless the plasma and when have we lost the sound again? Have you? In the work of the plasma. In the work of the plasma. Every Thursday we have this problem. I wonder why. But this week we had it two or three days. They're setting up the new system. In the work of a plasma, we never see the physical plasma. We only see the signs of the plasma. We only see the interaction of the plasmas and what they leave as interaction. It indicates to us that there has been a plasma interaction. We cannot, most of the time, because we are not educated, feel it. We have, as a humans, come to rely on three very slow, very backward systems on confirmation of the existence. The eyes, the ears, and the nose, and maybe a little bit on the tongue. What we got to learn is to trust our emotion, is to trust our feelings, that what we see is what we are looking for. What this means, is when we see a plasma, we don't need to see it. We have to feel the plasma. Do you want to shut the second computer? Would it add to the bandwidth, you think? Arma, you have to shut down. We're taking too much on. Yeah, we got to shut everything down because they are replacing, um, what you call, trying to do some work with the aerials for the new building. Okay, thanks very much. So what we see is compact interaction of the magnetic fields. This field, you do not know if it exists unless you see it according to your point of detection, if it's your eyes, I'm not a very good artist. If you see it, you believe it. And if you touch it, you believe it. You can smell it if you want to believe it, or you can taste it. Sometimes you rely on your ears that it makes some noise. Plasmas are invisible. They are silent, and they do not smell. Your human body, unfortunately, has 
the same thing is made of plasmatic magnetic fields. But the beauty of it is somewhere in this process these fields do interact. And at the point of interaction you get the confirmation. It's man who has to extend his knowledge how to bring additional senses into operation and how to detect this field of another plasma. We all know it, but over thousands of years we have gone to the comfort zone of noise and light. The question to ask is, did man always have an eye? Did we always have ears? Did we always have the smell? Or did or does the original entity like omibs, single cells, which exist, still carry the essence that they feel their environment without anything else? Are we going to extend the, what we call the emotional part of the brain of us to become our judge. In a space, you have one choice, and that choice is only this. Because the plasmas in the space move too fast, they're too invisible, and they do not smell. So, you tend to rely the way like a blind man, without a sight, you try to understand the interaction of the fields and trust what you feel is correct. Now this gives you a visibility of the universe in respect to the other plasmas. How do we do it? How do we assess our own strength? And how we do we trust that it's there? I always explain it in a very simple way. How do you know your lover loves you? If you're a man, how do you know your partner loves you? Or if you're a woman, how do you know your partner loves you? There is no smell for the love. There is no touch. There is no sound. You trust your instinct because what you release as a field to say I love you is replicated back and you get it back in a hidden way. So you trust your emotion. This is how in a space you live. You trust your emotion, you trust your feeling, you trust your understanding what I feel in the essence of my being is correct and what do I have to do with it. Is this a point of food, which means I need, and it is there for me to take what I need from it? Or does it say I need to be fed, I release some of mine for it to be fed? That in the future, I might need to take some from what I've given. It's very much how you bring a child up. You nourish it, you look after it, and it was patterned in the olden days that when I get old, it might be there to give me a helping hand or to my look after me. In a space, you don't need to worry who's going to look after you. If you learn how to transfer fields, how to give when it's asked for unknowingly and receive when it's given to you unknowingly, you'll find, you'll find balance and peace. Be gone into the real operation of the universe and not the man-made village of Earth. If you want to stay on this planet, you're quite welcome. If you're breaking into a space, follow the rules of the space. Understand the work of the plasma. How does the plasma attract? How does the plasma reject? How does the plasma make it available? I don't need it, anybody else would like to have it. And how does the plasma tells you 
If you desire to pass me, I accommodate you. As I always said, when you look in a planetary system, if you're in a solar system, when you have the sun in the center, and the earth somewhere here, and a Saturn or a Jupiter somewhere else, or a Mars somewhere else, you never see them colliding. As they come to a point, the other guy takes a diversion there that allows you to do your, keep your distance of 365, that your destiny is not changed. This is the behavior of the plasma in the universe. Don't forget, you become too habitual to think you're the only being who has a feeling. A planet like Earth creates life and it has its own essence and its own destiny and its own feeling. It's life. Not just because you're on it, you've been abusing it, you're the only one. It has like you, a plasma, a combination of plasmas, it has a beat, it has an organization, and more and more as the man is realizing about the world of the science of this galaxy or this universe, that every entity is life. Has to be respected. Not just because you call it the sun. If this is very far fetched for you, your, for your own self-centeredness, it's very simple. If you look, this planet, this solar system, this galaxy is part of the body of this universe. And then this universe itself in the unicos is part of a bigger structure of bigger body. If you tell yourself that this planet has no life in the whole structure and it's just there because you abuse it, ask yourself a small question. In your body, what happened to the soul which made your toe? You have no respect for it because, or do you, because it's there, if it hurts, it changes or gets damaged, you have to repair it. You have to start looking in a bigger scale dimension now that you're in a space. You are part of an organ of the universal condition, universal community, and the totality of it make the entity of one universe, or what we call unicos. So if a single cell in your body can go wrong and you can have a cancer, now you can see what a big cancer human race has been on the world of the universe with their behavior. The self-centeredness has made man blind. Now that we open the space, you have to understand everything has life and has to be respected and it has to be given a space for it to exist. Otherwise, you're back and you better stay till the day of demise, which is very soon. It's not just because you go from Earth to Mars or you go to the next solar system, it's freedom. So does the blood, every single cell of the blood in your body. A single cell of blood travels across the whole span of the body of the man, so does now the man. Now become, you actually become an omib feeding somewhere on its worth. Because now you deliver energy to somewhere in the universe where it's needed. Understand the totality now that you enter the universal family. You cannot go and do whatever has been done in past times on this planet. Because now, as I said, you had the cell on your toe, which the totality of the cell made your toe, and then that toe became part of your physical foot, and then the foot became part of the physical leg and the whole body. Now you understand the position of the planet Earth is another cell in the total structure of the universal community. Then you understand how you have to behave, how you have to conduct. As you don't chop your own finger, why do you damage another cell in the universe? Do you get a knife and poke a cell out because you don't want a cell on your back of your nail? No. You know it's going to hurt. So now the universal community is the same. You are taken into a space with no condition. Disturb like a cancer cell, we take you out. Work. 
as a normal system, you stay within the structure of the universal family. I explained this to you two years ago when I started teaching. Now we see how closer we are coming to it. Work throughout the universal family, you learn a lot, you adapt a lot, and you teach a lot. But try to be obnoxious the way you've been at each other on this planet, you better stay. You have 30 years maximum. So, what, what do we do and where do we go? How do we understand the work of the plasma? How do we give and how do we take? Are we selfish enough to just make with what we need? Or do we make the work of the plasma available for totality that it can benefit a lot? If you're of the last class, now you understand why you pay for the others to have that you're all equal. Because just in case, if you are the tall, in the coming time, if somebody pokes at you, you still can exist. Just need switching off. So, in that manner, and in what we are doing, let's look at the work of the plasma. In a more detailed way, maybe repetition, if you did not understand, do not forget that I repeat sometimes, and sometimes quite often, because each time somebody else understands the part I didn't understand before. Just because you understood, it does not mean why is it a repeat. Because even in that repeat, it might enlighten you to understand a little bit more what you did not understood, you thought you understood. If you have a plasma like this, a plasma is this way. First of all, as I've explained before, you have gravitational and you have magnetical. Where your magnetical usually is a little bit more than your gravitational. Because that little bit gives you manifestation of existence because that's where the interface with other plasmas happens and indicates you do exist. The plasma on its own has no interaction and there is nowhere in the universe that there is no plasma. There is nowhere in the universe, I was discussing in the teachings yesterday, that is a zero point. In the universe, at any point, the full spectrum of the gravitational magnetic field, the strength of the plasma exists. It's the entity and the plasma in that universe, in that part, which dictates and it manifests itself when it interacts with it. A very good example of this is a hand. I can shake this hand as much as you like. Till I put another hand. The noise indicates, the barrier indicates the existence of another being. So you have the same situation. There is nowhere in the universe that there is void of gravitational and magnetical field. If, as I told yesterday in the teaching, if this is the spectrum of the gravitational magnetic field strength, this being the highest gravitational, and this being the lowest, the plasma of the universe, plasma strength, is constantly the same. It depends on where in the strength of this entity, you choose to pick that puts you in that bracket of the string. You come here, and if you go here, you go somewhere here. 
No? Can't find it. It's most probably somewhere in the back office. No problem. Thanks very much. So, in the universe, in the plasma of the universe, the totality exists. It depends what does the plasma carries that it want to manifest itself at what strength. Do you operate or have you lost some that you manifest yourself and this is strength. Or you have much power and you shared most and you want to manifest yourself and this is strength. Then, when you want to manifest yourself at the strength, this is what's going to happen to you. In gravitational magnetic field, you are connected at this strength to the curve of. Because don't forget, this is partially what we call MAGA, magnetic gravitation. Then, at this point, we see you. This is your strength. This is where your plasma sits. And then, as we explained in most of our teaching, is that if you look at the cover of the universe, the center line of the universe is not a black hole, it's a continuation of rotation and expansion of the central line as high strength, which dictates where you sit. This strength could be here as much as it could be here, but depends why is manifesting itself. As much as the gravitational magnetic field of plasmas collide and in collusion they produce lower strength, in most of cases they amalgamate too. They come together as increasing mass. So the high strength gravitational magnetic field is not exclusivity of the central line. You can have it anywhere. And having these higher strength leads to the rotation and dynamism of the whole universe. So, what happens and how do we create plasmas? Can we ourselves be the initiators of creation of plasmas? In so many ways, yes. Is it our destiny to do? Yes. Do we know it? Yes. Have we forgotten how to do it? No. Have we become selective in what, which way we want to do it? Yes. I explained to you, like what I did yesterday, how you create fields, how you create plasma. And then how you do with the plasma, what you do with the plasma. The plasma which man, as I said, has to trust and he has a full control over is the plasma of emotion. Because it has no physicality, it does not need word, it does not need sound, it does not need ears or light. As I always say, you can't pay somebody and say, please love me. I pay you to love me. Or you can't say to somebody, I pay you to trust me. Because love and a trust is emotional interaction that what I give, I take, that it guarantees the balance of my life with you. So, we all know how to create a plasma of love or trust. So, we already know it. Do we control the amount of love we have or we give? or the amount of trust we have in each other or in other people. So, it's not strange to us, control of plasma, because emotion itself is manifested from energy of plasma. Itself is a plasma, it's part of the structure of the plasma. 
This is like in the teaching of yesterday when I showed the tomatoes and the pumpkin. What internally decided by the seed, what internally decided by the internal structure of the plasma leads to the shape, to the color of the pumpkin or the tomato. So, is it so unfamiliar? Or you always blinded yourself to the control of the plasma altogether? It is so real, it's so much with you, that the man, due to the weakness of the physicality, has led the real control of his life to slip away into more physical dimension. Now that you have seen the opening of the man into a space, you have to reverse the situation. Or at least try to understand how you control the emotion, and with it, try to create new dimension. As we said yesterday, we showed yesterday in a very simple way, with the tomato, you've seen it, we haven't moved it, we thought we use it today. The strength of the seeds inside, which are the center energies and the central line, if you look, as I said before, if you look at this tomato, I'm not going to leak again like yesterday. The floor is full of tomato juice. If you look at the shape of this tomato, what do you see? It's a copy of universal central line. Central energy line, and deviation, and different stars. Every seed is like a, a planet, a galaxy, or whatever you like to call it. It has a dimension, if you look at the outside, where the field's interaction leads to, are we in the right way today? You know, it says, not as we can get it. As you see, the field's interaction from inside dictates different curvatures, line of flow of fields. As I said yesterday, you become too passive. But if you look, the shape of this tomato and the curvatures on it is very much the direction of the flow of the plasma of the tomato in respect to what is inside, that's the seeds, and what fields leaves from in and it comes back out. We see the totality of the weaker becomes more balanced, so you see the smoother entrance. Here, where the energy is larger, different strength fields dominate, different, more highlighted. So, it's the tomato which decides the seeds inside what shape this thing is going to have and look from outside. So what we see is the emotion of the seed, because that seed has an emotion, has a feeling. In respect to generation of life, knows what will make it more attractive to reproduce by its seeds being eaten and taken to different places. So it creates new dimensions, new shape. And if you look, as I said before in the teachings, as you falsely have come to accept the shape of the universal world wide map as this, our universal world map is very much like this. And if you look at the end of it, where it sits, or the north pole of it or south pole of it, it's not very far from a tomato. And then, if you again go further, we showed the repetition of the same, you know, this is a pumpkin. You can't do it. I'm an old man. You're young, fresh blood. So, what do you see? If you want to separate it. You didn't cut it properly yesterday, or is it fused back again? So, 
It needs to go in the pot. They say it takes one fool to drop a stone in the in the water well, and it takes forty intelligent men to find a way to get it out. How did it? Maybe it's grown back again. It's still alive. It's still got life. Hey, we already broken this table once. Don't do it second time. Need to cut it again. Oh my God. Anyway, we we'll leave it to you to open the. Uh, uh, what a simple. Imagine if you're going to open is that the nanomaterial growing back together, Mr. Cash. Is that the GANs? Uh, is that the GANs connecting with itself uh, to yeah, get it back? Most probably it's been grown again. Can somebody get a knife? Yeah, it is my God. <laughs> Sorry, he forgot about you with the pumpkin. Uh, um, well, let's see, it doesn't matter. While they're actually trying to open a single, uh, what do you call it, uh, pumpkin, we can see the other side of how the plasmas move. The plasma moves, it takes its own shape, and internally it decides on its shape according to its, it will not open up like that, you need a knife. Marco, it's too much, it's gelled together. Get a knife and recut it again, please. Um, so, what we see, in fact, as we explained yesterday, sorry, you can't eat your key now, even if there's pumpkin on it. <laughs> you can have a tissue paper here. You want a tissue? There we are. This is what they call a life teaching. Everything can happen. Armand, please leave it. <laughs> They're going to get a knife. <laughs> he is coming with a sledgehammer to get in. So what you see is that the structure is very similar in everything. If you look at it, because the brain of the man carries more dynamic um, energies, you see the same thing, but in more depth, more curvatures, more dimensions. And there is in fact no difference between the brain of a man and a tomato. So, what happens? What dictates? Is it the need or is it to give that it creates somebody might need, I'm ready to give? So, in so many ways, in the universe of plasma, we never look what we are going to get. We look that we give, maybe somebody can use it. And the more you give, the more you get. Because the more you give, the more you span the horizon of the gravitational magnetic field of different strength that allows more to take from you. And when they take from you, they can give more. And with it, you grow. It's like, as I said, there is no better comparison than the work of the plasma than loving, because it's unconditional. When you love, you give unconditional, doesn't matter what the other side does. You do it with your child. There it comes, the force of Marco. You love the child and you give unconditionally. You don't care. There we are, we come, we call them pumpkin surgeons. They're coming to do open heart surgery. So, yeah. So what happens when you love a child, when you give love to a child, is unexpected, unconditional. So you put condition on it. It's the same when, it's as hard as yesterday cutting. More or less, okay, good. Pumpkin win. <laughs> we haven't become as intelligent as pumpkin yet. So what happens? You don't expect to get anything from your child because you give it exactly unconditionally. So this is how plasma works. I'm not gonna carry it this time. Yesterday I was covered with it. She can wash yours, I wash my children. <laughs> 
turn it around, please, the other way around. Yeah. So what happened? You see, there is no difference. But here, in making a plasma, there's plenty of spraying coming out. It's okay, no problem. So the shape is the same, and these are dictated by the gravitational magnetic field forces, where they find a balance in respect to what's inside. Here, this is the, what we call the atmosphere of this, because that's very manifest on the physical part, on a physical matter level. This is the ground level, this is the surface of the Earth. This is the thickness, how it protects itself. Here is the same. When you build a spaceship, this is the thickness of the wall of your top, your spaceship. As you look in this pumpkin, there are cavities. It's all prearranged. There are no screws, no walls, no hinges, but everything is nicely ordered in orderly manner because Gravitational magnetic field have decided by the seeds where to be that it maximizes the life. In what fields go through and what fields come back. As I said yesterday, if you look at this pumpkin in totality, oh, yep, see, we can, we can always take it. So we'll roll it till it comes to this position. Turn, 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 turn. I think somebody here will be right. If you look at it, you can hold it that way. Here, if, good morning, if we see in our, what they call a spaceship, with three reactors which dictate the position, you actually see the shape of a UFO, you call it, or a spaceship. Instead of having so many, now you control three spaces. Plasma of the seas decide gives you the shape. So, in fact, if you look at these two, you see a small spaceship or a big one. A bigger one with a space in between to live. So, if millions of pumpkins around the world can do it every year, create a dimension in life, why can't man do the same? Do we need factories? Thank you very much. Do we need production lines, as uh, Mr. Ali is here when he arrives says, give me aluminum plates and give me some screws and I'll make the capacitor and I'll fly. You never see a plate here, you never see a capacitor here. The plate comes from the strength of your brain and the capacitor is the knowledge which you can capacitate to carry it. In time, you see the pumpkin makes its own jacket, its own atmosphere, its own partition in its own living room and the kitchen without a single screw. So now they start becoming pumpkins. Think how such a single entity creates its own shield. The flesh is your home. You're not asking you or telling you to make something as strange never been done before. It's you who's been blind to it. This is Mr. Pumpkin. You had the flesh, which you're used to eating. You have all the bits, partitions, and you have little seeds, which are the plasma centers, which they detect the rest. Here is your spaceship. You're looking at it at the top. These are your three reactors. This is your center reactor. Here, Mr. Pumpkin looks like this. Here, because you have three reactors, your pumpkin looks like this. You put a little bit of the seeds here and there, then you have your rooms, your living rooms, your basketball rooms, and everything you like. Are you less than a pumpkin? Or you think you're too intelligent that the pumpkin has passed you? understand. So now you see even the tomato has been added and you see it's the same. 
what they say, if you don't want to be a tomato, you better catch up. So you better start understanding what the tomatoes are. Understand the interaction of the plasmas. Don't expect, start with very little. Understand how you love and how you care and how you give on condition and then try to bring it instead of inner being through your soul out and you start building what you call the space reactors. In the space, the travel of the universe did not have the factories, they don't have the refining capacities, they don't have the wheels, but they start understanding the two operations of the universe. They, instead of encouraging and increasing their physical dimension, plasmatic interaction, they increase their emotion, which means they increase the use of the fields than physical strength fields. And then you can build whatever you need, wherever you need, and this is now maybe you understand, we say, my wish is my command. Because I wish to have, because it brings comfort to my fields that it receives what it needs, then you receive it being a tomato, a pumpkin, love of a child, a stainless steel, or tons of gold. Because it's you with your emotion dictates the release of the fields and the strength you want to be, you want it to be carbon, you want it to be gold, or you want it to be from the emotion which is the center near enough of higher strength. You decide, you bring it to the energy level or you bring it to the physicality level. Do you want to absorb the energy of the water to add to the water inside your body that it guarantees your life? Or you actually want to physically drink water? Then what you give, what you take, dictates the condition of what it is, what it needs to be done. Have you ever seen an alien washing himself? Do you need water to keep yourself clean, that you have to have a physical water? Or do you create a condition very much like nanomaterial that you become Teflon? The field of strength is not there to absorb any dust or dirt. Do you need the clothing to have a washing machine in the space? Have you ever seen any aliens washing their clothes hanging on the space? NASA hasn't shown us and they're the most advanced people yet. Unless they have very good photographers, they can mask everything out. I was explaining recently to somebody, have you ever seen such a beautiful sun outside? Any aliens bathing, sunbathing in the space? because they receive from the space what they need, even being the tangibility and non-tangible pleasures of life. So, start understanding the true essence of creation. Then, the chair, the bed, the crowns, the jewels, are nothing but a mirage of interaction of the magnetic gravitational fields the way it's your skin. Your skin, which gives to you the manifestation of reality is nothing but the interaction of at least, as we have said in all the teaching, three gravitational magnetic fields in different orientation. And in the health teachings, you've seen it. That's why you have three layers of a skin. You never wondered why do I have that three layers in the skin? Because to have physicality, tangibility, absorption, and existence, you need three layers of different strength to interact, that the slowing down of the fields in gravitational magnetic field create very much the same thing as the interaction between the sun and the earth, which gives the manifestation to the existence of the earth at that level. So this is the same. The skin of a man is nothing but a mirage of interaction of fields. 
So maybe you want to have a brown skin today, you change a little bit, tomorrow you want to be white. Blonde hair won't be bad, Armin. And so we see how we decide to change. Or are we behind so much understanding, even less than a chameleon? Because a chameleon can instantly change its orientation, not really by impregnation, but those are there. It's the emotion in the head, which instantaneously covers his life that appears as different. But they tell you it changes its colors. No, it changes the strength of its emotion in respect to given field. That's why it can instantaneously change. A lot of wrong teachings now is corrected. You thought you were a chameleon? Then you understand the totality. Is the emotion when the chameleon feels in danger, danger of emotion, changes different field of strength, with what is already placed, shows itself in different color, because now it's like the earth, instead of having nitrogen as strength, now we'll have a carbon as strength. It'll be black. You've seen this. In your Gantz materials, you change the strength is the same salt water, you change the strength of a copper, nano-copper coated, instead of the zinc into a copper, different things, it goes from white to green. You just change the field, and it allows you to see the color, what you want to see. So, now start looking at the true work of plasma, and then you find out life is totally different than what you thought, and you find out you enter a new dimension of universal community. You think how they think, you work how they work, and you find out one thing, you can have whatever you need, whatever you need, whatever you need in the universe. So what's the use of building gold reserves, rice reserves? In the coming time, with the development and release now of the Magra plasma systems, we show you how a simple system can feed the whole town from whatever they need. Hopefully, Armand will give us a good demonstration of this soon, if he gets into the lab. Tomorrow, Saturday. Oh, tomorrow is Friday. Oh, I'm in Rome tomorrow. We'll see it when I come back. But I have to bring you the system that you can show it. He's got too much to do. Shh. He's teaching tomorrow. So now you start seeing, we've seen, Alex has reported, we've seen others are reporting how they transferred the field of an orange taste of the water and then how the smell or the taste can be changed that not only you smell and taste, but you feel the eating of the orange. The tangibility and physicality of it. You feel as you have received the full energy, actually without energy. As we always said past two or three days, I think Alex is on the line here, he's awake now. He only used the guns or nanomaterial guns of the material which they use alcohol or produce alcohol in Africa on his system. Not only like orange, he received the smell and taste, but he received the full whack of the alcohol energy and he got drunk with it. So when you drink or use these systems you are testing around the world, you are not actually tasting the orange, you're receiving all the vitamin C which your body needs at that time from it. Uh, Mr. Kesh, uh, Alex seems to be there. Um, do you want to speak with him? Yes. Him start. We have to see him next week. Why don't we speak to him? Alex. Hi, Mr. Kesh. Hi, Alex. Hi, darling. How are you? I'm blessed, man. 
Have you managed to finish your thingy, enlightened? Uh, you break it off, Mr. Case. I work on this. While I was explaining, can you tell us how you got drunk with your own uh, emotion? Okay, I, I made um, the, the spring reactors and then um, I energized it, which means I excited the reactor and then um, I placed them, um, I sprayed the reactor with um, some herbs that had alcohol in it. And then I placed a bottle of water close to the reactor and when I drank the bottle, um, I felt drunk. So, you got to remember something. If you stand still enough near the bottle or the mm. coil, as you're yeah. about 70, 80% water, you get drunk anyway. <laughs> I've not tried that. <laughs> Put it in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and please do not drive. London is a dangerous place. I don't want to be a walking drunk. <laughs> so now you see, can you explain to us what and how you see the transfer of energy? Well, um, what I observe is that um, each time of the day has a different um, energy that it gives you. For instance, if I wake up in the morning, if I drink from the same bottle, um, I don't feel drunk, but I, I get the They cut him off. Hello. In the, in the, um, uh, Alex, you got to repeat. When you get up in the morning, we lost you from there. You're breaking up. You're breaking up, Mr. Kesh. I can't hear you properly. Yeah, okay. We are back again. Tell us after when you wake up in the morning and you drink the same water. Um, yeah. No, when I woke up in the morning, I didn't drink the same water because it can last for days. So. When you wake up the next morning, it's a different thing you have in your, in your mouth. Like you feel sweet in your mouth because the, the herbs that are made, um, the, um, the herbs that are made from, uh, with the, um, I mean, the recipe in the um, herbs has, um, I think, mango, it has um, some bitter leaves and so on. So each time of day, each period of day, you feel different things in your, in your system. As you like, think or as you need. If I don't know about mango, do you think I will get the taste of mango? Or does it mean I need a mango? Um, well, you get a taste, but I don't know if it's mango you get, but you get a taste of sweetness. So you have some sweet sensation in your mouth. Not sensation, I mean, you can actually feel that you know, your mouth is sweet all day long. It's not, no, for as long as the body wants it. How is your eating going in the house? Are you still eating or are you still... Uh, we hardly oh, eat at home. We had to a gans of a steak. <laughs> but we hardly eat here now. Most everyone in my house really don't, we don't. Well, they eat, they chew. They have to chew. But I mean, they really don't need food. They just um, they can go can go without food for hours and hours. Because, for instance, my boy when he wakes up in the morning, he goes to school. I I encourage him to take breakfast or just drink a glass of water so he has. Hello, we lost you again. Hello? Hello, Alex. Energy at home, so they don't really need food. Even my daughter as well. And then another thing is that, um, that I observe with the reactors is that my, my daughter had, um, she works with, um, she worked with the kids in school, in nursery school, so she's always having colds and so on. So but this time, this year, um, she, she, um, she had cold from school, but when she came home the um, day before yesterday, I made her stay in my kitchen close to the reactors, and then the cold was gone. So you start using as a medicine man? <laughs> I'm an obvious man. <laughs> Proper bush doctor now. You're a bush doctor? Yeah. <laughs> I, we had, uh, I was talking to uh, one of our guys around the Keshe Foundation, and he went out somewhere for a few days, and he took a pen with him. And he was saying he was just going, penning everybody, the pen's gone, the pain is gone, he just puts a pen, and the pain disappears. So we, learn, we start learning. Thank you very much, Alex. We'll speak later on. Okay, Mr. Keshe. Yeah, we do not need to 
create matter to enjoy the benefit of the energy of the plasma. One of the most important things you come in the space to understand is you use magnetic gravitational fields from the environment according to the desire of the existence of the physicality. Which means if your physical part needs energy to increase the energy level, let's say in your toe because you want to move, that through the emotion gets absorbed from the environment to give you what you need for that movement. You don't need to harvest, you don't need to cultivate six months, a year, two years ahead that you have the energy because if it's a wheat, you have food or rice or potatoes to eat because when there's a need for a starch, there's somebody somewhere there that you can feed me. You take from the field of the universe when that starts, that energy is needed for that movement. This goes back into a lot of things which the new technology will release with the new plasma magnet systems. The heating of the body does not need to be in the form of electric heaters. This is also explaining to the manufacturers past week. You want your desire is that the temperature of your body be at 30, 40, 50 degrees, whatever it is, whatever creatures you are, and it'll be achieved. If the desire is that when I touch this chair and have a feeling that I don't feel cold, that will transmit it. This is what happens to you in the universe. This is what happens from the ray of the sun. This is how your body is energized continually at 37 point whatever degree is. You got to understand that the time has come to start using a different part of our existence more than the physical side. And then when you do that, you'll find out you become a passengers of the universe because everybody else in the universe does the same. The four wheelers time is over. You don't need to be relying on the four wheels to get anywhere because you can create gravitational magnetic field according to the position where you want to be. As I said, when we start talking about the GANs or about nanomaterials, for four, five, six years, there was a Coca-Cola bottle on the YouTube and Hundreds of thousands of people watched it in different way, and they tried to make the nano coating of creating energy, and became a puzzling point for some people who were after free energy. Till we explained how easy we make it. Then we went to the GANs because now it had to be accepted. Now, plasma is what you have to understand. When you understand, you have a key to the operation of the universe, free energy, which is your aim, free food, free medicine, free whatever you want to be free, but in actual reality, now we have created a new master for you. You're still a slave to plasma. At least with this new master, you can master more things than before. Before in a matter of state, you have the oil, you can do certain things with the oil, nothing else. You had the wood, you could do certain things with them, nothing else. Now you have the intelligence and you need to develop it that you can have the wood, you can have the steel, you can have the food from the same plasma. It depends how much strength of this plasma you want to cut and when you want it, where you want it. You don't need reserves. This goes back to, do we need to store gold to be wealthy? Are you sure? I make a challenge. Some of you start making gold with water, but it was your desire. It became like gold you wanted. Now try to make gold as much as you like through your thoughts.
and then give it a physicality. And walk to a shop and say, can I have anything you like against gold? And go back to the same shop. Say, you give me an orange, I'll give you the size of an orange or gold piece. How? Do you tell your child how much you love her? Every day? Every time you think of it, you call him, oh, I just send you some love. Hmm. But how come you do that, but you can't make what you like? Because the minute you love him, you feel it, he receives it. Doesn't matter if he's not aware of it. He won't jump off the bed. So, oh, he just sent you some love, but it's habit. So, change that energy into try to make it into physical term if that is your confirmation of your existence. Try to exchange it for what you need and then you'll find out you're very, very rich because the reserve gold needs a lot of problem looking after and depositing. But this way, you have a reserve of energy of the universe. You can take from it anything you like, when you like, at the time you like. We don't go into philosophy, you've seen it. If a tomato, millions of them do it every day, are you less than a tomato to make yourself a spaceship? That's all it is. It's a containment of transport. Transportation of the seeds that it guarantees is survival. The same with a pumpkin. Are you less than a pumpkin? Or have you forgotten you already done it? You have built something called more complicated human structure out of the wish to exist in this environment. We don't teach anymore how to make things. We teach you how to be educated enough to understand that everything is at your reach. It's you who's got to decide when and where and how and how much of it. Do you need to understand the creation of a UFO or what you call a spaceship or your flying object? How come this planet, which you are passenger of, been flying with nothing for millions of years? Is it its wish? Or is it dictated by its wish, by a bigger structure that deserves that wish? You should be able to transfer enough energy within the structure of your emotion that allows you the manifestation, the confirmation, if you like, of a spaceship anytime, anywhere. If you feel not safe with the body created, you call the body of the man, in another object to protect you in case you get it wrong. Do we need sheep to travel across this universe? Or is having a sheep allows us to be collectively be guilty in what we are doing wrong now? Try to release energy from inner sanctum of your emotion and see if it is true, you will see it if your desire is to see physicality. The world of what I call matter, the world of separation of matter in nanostructure, the freedom of the atomic structure to organs was a way to bring you to this point to understand the freedom of the universe. Because with matter, you're entangled in physicality of connection and entanglement. With nano, you became freer. With the GANS, you see in the freedom, but you don't understand how to interact. With the plasma, you're in charge of all the interactions and everything above and below which you want to make to connect and control. So, how would you make what would like to make? Is there your wish that you'd be a passenger of a spaceship? that you can go where you like, and in fact exist in front of you, but you don't see it, because you're too visual.
does it have to have a physical presentation that you're convinced, yes, I'm correct, my desire, my wish is my command. Man has to change very rapidly. So what happens, as I explained, you have to decide yourself. In reality, the worst scenario, the biggest nightmare of mankind is upon you. Yesterday, I wouldn't tell you this, but tonight, I have to spend an hour literally confirming what I was seeing is the reality. So, you got two choices. Re-educate yourself very rapidly or be part of the plasma of the universe without physicality, if physicality is your option. We see that the solar system has taken a very sweep turn in a diversion of the fields internally, which means that only happens when the gravitation of the Earth is stronger than the other part. Which means we are attracting, we become a target and the bullet is on its way. Because the way the structure sits in the horizon shows that we are more likely getting pulled by the central gravitational field force of the central galaxy, and in not pulling, we are ahead of the other side, so it's pulling us in, so the collusion is imminent. Don't forget, even we don't collide, the interaction, all these little icebergs you see on the ring of Saturn, they become missiles moving to the center of the galaxy, center of the solar system. So now you get palleted by all these and plus all the other bits which are there. The more center you are, where we are as a third planet, the more and the harder we get hit. The sun is here, the second sun is here, the earth is here, the rotation is still goes on. Saturn sits on here and all its bits are around it. And the closer you are, the faster you come back to it, the more pelleting you get. And if the condition of the compression becomes too tight, head on is no option but the unification of the two. There will be no left in our formation. And last night is very, very clear, it has a start. I told you the orientation changed 14 hours ago, 72 hours ago, because the atmosphere of the Earth, the plasma of the Earth turned we became aware, sun looks the same, the what they call a star formation looks the same, but if you look in three dimension, you see totally different angle into the whole of the universe. It has changed totally the horizon. I wonder when NASA will announce it, if they can see it. Or is it too sensitive that it creates chaos? We shut up and see what happens when it happens. And I think this is the option made by the government. You got to start very fast understanding of what as cash foundations around the world give to humanity in a very rapid way. You got to 
deliver systems which only deliver plasma and nothing else. In delivering plasma, you give the man, as I said, the continuity of delivery of a plasma, which man decides how he cuts it, how big he cuts it, when he cuts it, when he needs it. You got to realize, can you be part of the operation? Can you develop a technology understanding that by interacting your emotions with this field lead you to have to what you want in physicality? In a way, your emotion, gravitational magnetic field, becomes the interface for creation of what you need from your plasma sources, or what you call the power units. I listened to somebody downstairs, what was going, was talking and teaching. His phrase was that you receive from the left and you give from the right. If you remember, even not here, you disappeared. I listened to it downstairs. Going back on what he said, would you be able to connect your emotion to the system from the left and in your right hand produce gold or water or whatever you need? Because you have the emotional barrier in center. You convert it to physicality of the dimension of a GANS or conductive superconductivity. The conversion is yours. Would it be the time, if you are advanced enough in control of your emotion, you can stand on this side, the system is here, you don't have anything to show here, where I hold my hand and my wish is tomato, and in that hand appears the tomato. I create the conversion. This would be very difficult, because up to now you didn't have a source to convert. Now, I have built you the plasma reactors, which you are happy with two kilowatt. Two kilowatt is fantastic, better than zero. But in fact, this is hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of megawatts of energy. And in full strength. We're gonna show you, you might have a surprise on the 60. Would the desire be in that ex of any of you in that presentation, being ambassadors or people who come to be there, that you produce enough gold that literally shows the valuation of a gold that stops all the wars around the world, which is going for the gold? Would you be able to stand, <coughs> connect yourself to the unit? And your wish to be gold, to bring peace, will give you peace in hand and you can give it to the governments. How many kilo do you want to take with you? Or would you give the illusion of gold that it brings satisfaction to the man's mind? This is not impossibility anymore. Because the Magraph system, the blue one which we kicked up in the sky, is the new source of energy conversion from plasma to whatever you like. Would you be able to develop enough trust in yourself that in the coming time, you hold the reactor in one side and you decide this is gonna be the energy of one core, this is gonna be energy of another core, this energy of another core, and there is my special. You've got to understand, in the coming time, the energy system which you are hoping to give you energy to be kilowatt, is the new source of your life. It's you who got to understand what it gives and what you want to give from it. We said from the beginning, is Magrav 
system, Agra Plasma Energy System. My biggest question to you is, I never told you what energy. It was your assumption you get electricity. People who've been busy with the guns and the nano now start building systems to see what they can get. I bet you start seeing people walking on the street going, would you like a banana? You can have a banana. But if your wish is an orange, in hand you will see an orange. Because in interaction with your emotion, this is what you needed. The time of a real magician illusion starts from this point on. Because from now on the magician is you and your emotion is the trick. If you look, the plasma energy system is what you have been calling I have given you, without you knowing, while you were asleep walking, the sun. It's you who is going to translate this energy into what you want. As I said, the energy of the sun, as it comes out in different strength, leads to creation of the earth with all its entities, the Saturn and whatever you need. Because you are only used to what the sun allowed you to give, to have. Another sun might give you, at this position we are, only, let's say, Mercury. Or another material which you are not aware of at all. So, that was another nightmare for you. Now, you have to understand, instead of making this GAN system, these nanomaterials and the rest of it, now you are the decision maker. And your emotion, control of your emotion, dictates what comes out of this system. And as our friend Alex just told you, he wanted, because he knew he's put a seed of alcohol, he wanted to see how he feels, he got himself drunk. If he gives it to somebody else who knows nothing what was there, it's a normal water. This is what was promised by Christ, blessed soul. This is my body, this is my blood, and then it's the wine for you to drink. You want it to be a wine, you get wine from the system. You want flesh, that's your bread. So now we fulfilled the promise of all the generations of the Prophet of God. It's for you to decide. When you get the power system, don't look at them, how many kilowatt it gives me, if you can run my computer, look at it, and your computer runs without any wire. Because it takes the energy, you decided, you connect yourself to you. Then you understand what wireless system is. You were looking for a transmitter and a receiver. You forgot the whole transmission and the receiver is your own vision. Start playing with the new plasma systems, the process of creation of unity and peace and then you find out you want whatever you need in your hand. I have fulfilled my job. Now it's yours to get yourself out of this mess, which is just started. When you go out tonight, look into the deep sky, and you will see your own demise. and the time is ticking. The faster humanity become one, the faster you might be able to survive, or at least some of you survive the conversion of the energy of 
one or two pieces of the universe which are totally irrelevant, but is important to you because it's your existence. Maybe now you know why we came, the time we came, and the reason we came. Understand how you do the conversion and what you want to convert into more physical or more emotional, which has no tangibility, but can be anything you like. If you notice in the past teachings, I brought you in bits and bobs all over the place, but in a way, everything is indicated and pointed to one thing the unification of man to become one soul. The conference we put on one planet, one nation, one race, it means one soul. And that's what you need to take across from this planet now that its demise has started. It's the soul of the planet, the soul of the man and not the man. Start making these plasma reactors and start testing your ability in trusting your own soul and your own emotion. Then you'll find out the life will be much easier for humanity. You remember a few weeks ago I said the interaction of the, uh, what do you call it, uh, the plates in the Western United States is going to start and within a week or two we saw one of the biggest earthquakes and the rest. And I explained to you that it will happen this year or next year for the final phase. Now you've seen it within a couple of weeks. We see one of the highest earthquake in Southern America in the same line of zones in the sea and the shore, which I explained. Now understand the same truth sits for what is about to happen to Earth in respect to the second sun. It's you who got to rise and change the position, or in fact, man will be never remembered in the space because no one took that chance to bring peace, to spend the energy to be able to leave this environment. So the decision, or in a way it is, with the totality of the humanity, not just of here. We know too much. If we tell you, you will hang yourself, all of you. But in a way, this way, at least some have the chance to expand the horizon of the universe. You got to realize there's a lot of effort is going in the background in trying to organize this thing. And strange enough, as I said, the Italian, we were not aware of when we announced it. Now that we touched with the embassies regarding presentation, uh, most of the key ambassadors are all in Milan, some 800, 700 kilometers away, in a food conference in uh, uh, Milan Expo. And I said, what a fantastic time. They go there to be fed a few oranges, we can give them whatever they like in exchange for it. Uh, but uh, we'll see. But the main thing was to allow the two sides to come together and see what we are. Um, can, can we as a collective people create enough energetic fields to use Earth as a spaceship and bring our beautiful planet in another state position, in other words, to save Mother Earth? Theoretically, yes. Reality, no. Because you'll take the same mess which is here, you're so much attached to, to the rest of the universe. And then it's all begin again. You've seen these naughty children, they promise to mom and dad, I promise I won't do again, I'll not, never do it, and I'll be a good boy. Once we put man in another position, he's safe, he starts the whole shamble again. Correct, Armin? How many times did you and me promise our parents we won't do it again? And we were at it the minute they turned their back. Don't talk about it.
Man will not change till he really experiences. He won't change until he experiences Pardon? something. Okay, so I got we got him back there. We are back again. What did you say? Yeah, we lost you at uh, man won't change until he experiences something. Yeah, he experiences the full loss. That's how he learns. Man loves to be punished. And then from punishment he learns. That's how uh, heaven and hell and the rest was built up out of the fear. As I was saying, the tribe of Israel did not learn. Muhammad banished them, took the love of God from them, and we saw them becoming tribes of nomads. It was given back to them 180 years ago. They had a chance to rebuild, to correct. We see what they've done and what they're doing again now. Because now they think they're free and they have what they like. And we see soon we've taken love of God from tribe of Moses again. This time will never return. They never learned, and that will be the same for man. Because when they thought they achieved power, instead of being just not to do the same, we see what they've done in Palestine and the rest of the world. And the next plan for destruction of Israel, what they call Iran through the hand of Israel, is so big that it cannot be carried out. You do not cut the hand of the people who fed you. So we take the arms away from you. That's the end of the state of Israel. And where is the state of Judaism? They chose, we serve it. Man will do the same. When he goes to space, it will not exist because he'll go back to the same habits. I have a question. Yes. Good morning, Mr. Kish. My name is Turaj Akavan uh, from the United States. Uh, I am a new student uh, at SSI, and uh, I have noticed uh, that you are shifting from using the physicality, which is nanocoding and GANs, into thinking for our soul in the plasma state. The question I have in terms of creating a spaceship, are we using the plasma or uh, using our soul to create a, a physical uh, spaceship or an organic spaceship? You produce what you need in the interaction of the matters of the plasma in the matter state which your entity strength can support. So okay. you do not create a, a craft which has a power or energy above what can contain you or below. So your existence through your own wish is confirmed and your protection through your own wish is your understanding of the strength which creates that barrier. In that case, the next question comes out. Uh, uh, all the spaceship uh, that people see in the sky, or what I have learned, is uh, the lower intelligence, uh, they create a, a physical spaceship. The higher intelligence in the universe, they create still a... still have their own spaceship. I'm sorry? The higher intelligence still have their own spaceship. What we call a spaceship yes. is a shell of protection. It's yes, indeed. Who puts different dimensions to it? Uh, this is all the spaceship has been designed based on the light body of uh, a Milky Way galaxy. If you look at it from the side, it looks like a spaceship. Everything in the universe has a light body. Earth has one. The sun has one, uh, the central sun of uh, Milky Way has one, and human body has one. Uh, by activating uh, the light body of the human being uh, through plasmatic or soul uh, point of view, uh, actually uh, from our hip, once we create the light body, what is called Merkaba, uh, about the, the human body's light body is about 60 feet extending from uh, Hip, that it looks exactly like a spaceship or like uh, the Milky Way. But majority of people on the planet, uh, they have not activated the light body. And through creating the uh, light body, 
Merhaba. Uh, we can not only travel uh, through a three-dimensional universe, we can also travel uh, through dimensions. So my question is, are we creating an organic spaceship which is actually our light body or Merkaba, or are we creating through plasma a, a physical spaceship? That's the question I have. You don't, you create in a way to you a physical because that gives you the comfort of existence. But in fact, is in comparison to what it has to hold. You saw the seed in that tomato, the seed of the tomato, yes. the size, the structure of the tomato, because in that case, it can survive in the environment which is grown. So the focus of our attention will be using the plasma to create a physical, uh, actual uh, spaceship. Is that what the goal is? You create the tangibility in accordance to your own point of observation. Okay. That's a big difference. Can I make a my question is if Moses uh, has done whatever he's done before, is man uh, going to be totally different? Uh, he only affected a small community of the universal community. But the start is most important. Yeah, he got it the wrong way. Yeah, we missed the question. Well, if, at least ask, ask the there. question loud. They want to hear it. What if he's done it right? It would have been different. It, it will be different. Yeah. If Moses would have done right, there would have been no need for Christ and Muhammad. Thank he you. got it wrong, then we had to have the Christ to correct his wrongs, and then he went wrong again, and he put another wrong into it, plus other prophets to correct part of the thing which are wrong. Then if we teach man... Yeah, but right the thing thing. is, you have to realize, there is a separation between the soul of Moses and the physicality soul of Moses. The prophet of God have two souls. One is, which is collective, and one which belongs to the physical. When the Prophet of God accepts the condition of messengers to pass message on, works through the soul of the Prophet, not the soul of the physicality. And what happens up to now, most of the Prophets, once they got and they saw the power of the soul of the Creator as a Prophet messenger, they misread in their physical soul and they abused it. That's where the problem came. There's nothing wrong with the message of Christ, bless his name, or Moses. But it's the physicality soul and physicality we saw influence and power and abuse in it. But let's say if... And the people, because they are human, they follow the physicality than the soul of the prophet. Thank you, you answered my question. So yeah. the humans can be, you know, uh, in different level too. If, yes. they, if they've been taught from the beginning different. In a way, yes. We've seen it with Buddha. And we've seen it with other prophets of different parts of the universe, uh, what they call it, the world. So when you're saying human will never learn, so... At the moment, nobody's learning anything. If you know what I know, what I see, the plans which is in hand by the certain number of organizations to create mayhem, they will give everything they have to be able to pass what is just about to start. I hope not. I oh, have yeah, no choice. No choice. How come that the astronomers cannot see a sun coming in our orbit or close to our orbit? They can detect any asteroid by from far away, months in advance. Uh, I was thinking that the only explanation uh, that I can come across is since I learned from the books, any entity in the universe can be shown depending on the, the, the interaction of the cooler barrier and the environment. If that interaction don't make any friction, uh, there is no light. The entity is still there. Uh, that's the case many objects that you uh, mentioned. Let me, let me explain to you, there is a huge light. It's a, a what? There is a huge light in the horizon. Create huge light? Yes, created by the interaction of the, the solar system of the second sun. The scientists are not aware and they cannot see and they cannot identify it. 
we see it. It's very, very clear. So, it can be Depends what light you're looking for and what orientation you're looking for. And what is that? I said the light of the second sun is very, very clear. Oh. Extreme okay. It's well, it's more than actually well clear. And last night it showed itself fully. And in what uh, direction can we see it at, at what time? I see what happens. Direction, I don't know. I don't know if I'm west, east, north, or south. I see from the interaction and composition of the star formation. Uh -huh. Okay. May, may I ask you a second? See things you don't see, I feel things you don't do. And maybe that's what I'm here to tell you. Maybe I inform you wrong. No, I, I understand. From what we yeah. see, from what we understand, it's not the first time I've been through this. Been through it several times, so we know the signs. Okay, okay. Well, the question is, uh, since this uh, is so uh, 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 you know imminent, and uh, the risk is so high, uh, is not any way to uh, teach uh, how to get more into the practical stuff of handling the plasma or uh, creating a seed of plasma or entering that subject in a way that is not uh, uh, left in the hands of the knowledge seekers like us uh, here with this ourselves, how to do that. I mean, that's the right way, of course, but the end, uh, you know, I think that uh, time is uh, is a value resource right now. That's my my question. Thing is, uh, Rick just put it up a few minutes ago. You look at the what is written. It says one planet, one race, one nation. In fact, it should be one soul. And it's you who's got to decide how you're going to bring it together. Not nobody else can. I think in the next few weeks, we get rid of the line of the divisions of humanity. That will be the only ultimate chance and the way to go. Uh -huh. They will do it to themselves. You got to realize when we wish it will happen is the wish of the humanity to find peace. And now they have the tool of the peace and so they will achieve it. You'll be amazed how these uh, Magrav systems, when people start understanding the use of it, will change the course of humanity. We didn't have fridges, we didn't have freezers, we didn't have televisions, we didn't have all sorts of things past 50 years. And now you'll find out you can change all those with one unit in whatever you need, whatever you need. And the condition for it is you have to be sincere that there is a need for it to be there. So, Man, now we give him a tool to find a just way of thinking, not to take much. There is no use to have two tomatoes on the table when one will do the job. With this system, with this technology, man will learn a lot in the next couple of months and a couple of years. And would it then understand how to behave in the space? The time of mayhem, the jackpot has just hit. You know, you win a jackpot and then you win it. 10 million dollars or whatever from the time you see the numbers that you want till you go and you actually get it is a few days gap and in all that time you dream what you're going to do with it and then till they actually give you the check you go to the bank now it's yours now with these power units we have given you the number of jackpots you won now it's yours to go and cash it You've seen some they invested and some they buy everything they can and in five years time they're poorer than they started five years ago before they started the jackpot. Now we see how the man how the man will use the money of the jackpot. You won the jackpot, you got it. Let's see how you use it. You got everything you want. What do you want a jackpot? Why do you gamble? You spend fifty hundred euros every week to win a big pot and you can't guess the number. Now we we gave you the number. You didn't know. We just said, you know, we go press a 
random button. It just gives you the number and then it turns out to be the jackpot. Now randomly we gave it to you. See how you're gonna use it. Now every man is a billionaire because whatever you need is in that system. It's you who's gonna find out what you want from the system and how you're sincere with yourself. If the wish of a man is to feed his children, using the system, all his children will be fed according to what they need. No child will sleep hungry. But if there is a wish of a man to conquer and rule and kill more, they find out they give from the energy to the system and they bring their own device. The man who goes for the greed will find out will be eaten through his own energy and with the lack of it, it ends of his own existence. This is a, what I call the chalice of balance. You try to kill, you will find out the energy which you create is taking is in a different way, magnetically, gravitationally. You find out that's what you bring to yourself. That's why we call the world ambassadors to take it. The ambassadors are the presidents of the nation. When these units hit the embassies, that's the time when the number is called in. They want to see how they cash it. It's a spending time now. You don't even have a clue what I've given you yet. By the time you start using these systems, which you are paying for it, because you paid for it, you have to use it. And then you know has the possibilities and chances I have made you a slave to your own soul. When you tell me about freedom. Uh, I was saying that what about the spreading the knowledge to the people that don't even know about the foundation? When we release a message like this, we don't listen to the ears if they heard. We touch the soul of the beings and all the souls have been touched. They have received the message. You're still looking for the media of Fox or CNN. We look for the message of the soul. And we have already reached all the souls of the creatures on this planet. You're still too physical. We have um, uh, Yumar, who's on the uh, who's a um, uh, on the chat here, and he says, or it might be she. I'm not sure. Anyways, they say, I have started to be able to heal my own self using the plasma being emitted from my hands, which are more concentrated from the fingertips. Doing certain things such as first performing ablution, then slowing my breathing significantly, which raises the CO2 levels in the body, while invoking specific names from the 99 names of the Lord seems to be working. My question is, how can I further expand the fields so I can increase the field strength? I don't know, it depends how much control you have here over your field, or you think you have power over your field. We will show a very interesting experiment, hopefully next Friday. We won't announce it, but we'll test it. Don't forget, people who come to the presentation, they walk into a live working laboratory. They will understand when we finish. Because if you tell them, they have a pre-mindset, and we don't want to create that. Don't forget they have requests from the Iranian government for the fourth uh, world ambassador of peace to be, to be held in Tehran. We are still waiting for response. So whenever we have it, we show it the way we've done before. When we had the sessions, we carried on three or four days last time, last year, what do you call it, last term. Events like this will be broadcasted live because people in Manila are waiting for it and they have their session after we do. We do not expect a very large number of ambassadors. I said the, the situation which is in Milan. Uh, if you change it to the 26th or 23rd, we will have a lot of them attending. 
But there is a reason, there is a reason for that day, and it's exactly how it's turning up to be. They went for a food of physicality, we give them the food of soul. We'll see which one they remember more, Milan or Rome. You got to understand the essence of what this power supply does, not the way you want to have your free energy. Next question. We have here Giga. Uh, well, <clears throat> Jen uh, mentions, I don't understand these blue box reactors. They need another hardware in the vicinity of the reactor to harvest the energy or what? Pardon? I'm just saying they don't understand the, the, uh, the blue box reactors, the uh, power supply. They need, we are uh, converting, let me, may, that's a good question. This is what I wanted to explain and I forgot. We are, the work of these units are to convert or to find a balance or to find a comparison point in a physical matter vibration to a plasma release. The, nowhere in the process, the matter state is connected to, to power generator. to what you call the grid. We use it as a point of reference to release. And that's what a lot of you haven't understood. A lot of you have worked with it. There's no difference between this and Coca-Cola bottle, but a more powerful way. Is to release the plasma. You have to have a point of comparison that you can create a release. The grid is a very good point of comparison. You don't need the grid, you can have a generator or you can have a condition of the power that in balance to reference starts strong. Then you release the energy of the plasma and then when you release the energy of plasma, you have a totality to work with. This is what we call it MAGRAV, magnetic gravitational power supply. We don't call it the electrical power generator. And the last two questions about electric power, electronic, electronic is a very, very weak strength of matter to work with. Mitesh, this is Sandy. May I ask a question? Hi, Sandy. Yes, you can ask a question. Thank you. Um, you had mentioned that you wanted each nation to take care of themselves, to do their own production, their own teaching, and so forth. Uh, can I extrapolate that? Do you want each nation to have their own uh, power supply to use uh, the, for their boxes, points of reference? Yes. Well, as well, of course. The thing is, in the coming weeks, we will release what we call the Magra Power Generator which means you become independent of the grid. But you have to, I explained this before. If you put such a system in the market today, none of us will be alive. You've got to understand the structure of the political structure. We seems to be doing, at least they seems to be happy with what we are doing, if you understand. Yeah, um, the, the boxes themselves, you've just said that they are a point of reference for the energy for the plasma to be released um and they're a point of reference to a principal plasma field my question is no no no, no. no? let me explain to you something else it goes back to if you were i explained this before with the test we did in in lesson sign you have to create a point of need and even the things I taught this morning, that you allow the release. You create a continuous interface on balance and the plasma response to fill in the, the cavity or the, in the vacuum of the need. This is something you lot don't understand and I keep on repeating it. One day somebody will understand. I gave the example of 
you need, you love someone, you have to be, I know, there should be a need to love and what it's given to. Okay. Sure. I think part of my problem has to do with uh, probably seeing the Alex Speeds and the setup at SSI where we had power being uh, basically uh, drawn um, from the, or, or no, we had the point of reference reactor um, on the on the floor and the power beads were supplying the uh, sort of the plasma source um, if I if I got that right so I'm sort of looking that in these small plasma field type of interactions which I guess I'm trying to start out small and work up um, how the interaction works as far as which is the point of reference and of the uh, system in which is the uh, principal plasma field. If you understood because you made the first one with Alex, you looked at the physicality, but if you, you understand not this, understand you can produce the totality anything. of what you were doing. And apparently none of you has come to grasp this idea. And the minute when somebody jumps up, it'll be the second Alex Plasma. But I keep on teaching you, it's for you to find out how you do it, how you achieve it. Will it come by holding your hand at the end of the wire? If I give you the unit, you plug it on the other end, and you say, okay, that's tomato, that's orange, this is banana, this is meat. Because then you confirm you have something, you've done something. But in fact, that's what is coming out. You decide what you want. Or you can instead think, I want orange as much as you like, you collect. Because you release the energy with the interaction of the plasma of your emotion, with the interaction of what's coming out, creates a friction at the level of orange. So you can stand on, Monday, on next Friday in front of the ambassadors. You put a machine on, they're waiting to enlighten, and you just stand there, gold, just, as you say, shitting out. You see them grabbing it, and then they get fed up, because it's still coming on, it's still your wishes to give gold. And then you find out all the wars are finished. People will build houses of gold. Do you know why? Because to bring man to shame, how much better has been done for this? And nobody will ever live in it, because they look at it as a point of shame. That's all it is. It's you who's looking for AC, DC, can I put this there? Why don't you put yourself in front of the system and see what comes out? You wish, your wish is your command. I've given you the sun. You have the strength in your emotion to change it, change it into gold. Now it's time for banana. You will see banana floating all over the floor. Or would you just like to have the energy of the banana? That's it, I had enough what I need from it, the potassium level or whatever, and you walk out. Do we change our kitchens now? We have one of these. You just walk through it, whatever you need, the body fits up, you go around, two hours later you come back, you walk around again. This is what's gonna happen to you. That man sitting behind you is making it. Armin is busy with it. Would the ambassadors come? And do we need to give anything but a glass of water to them? Because if they want wine, the glass will be wine. If they want orange juice, it will be orange juice. We don't tell them, we tell nobody. But at the end, we ask them, did you ingest? It was a beautiful orange juice. And if they're alcoholic, we see a bunch of ambassadors all walking out drunk. And God forbid, they are drug addicts. You will see them will be all over. We have to call the ambulance. You'll be tested beyond your imagination in the coming time. To you was a joke. Now Alex told you, you think we're gonna do any different? Your wish is to have 
free energy, to cheat your government, to not to pay taxes, hmm, no problem, you'll have, you, this is all, you're so narrow-minded, you're so small in thinking that only you look at uh, Siemens, because you are what I call electron people. You're happy with the energy from a little vibration of a little electron, little bit. I'm giving you the whole lot, you're still bigger for the pieces. You decide, you want to see little vibration, and can I put a transformer to it? Can I put a resistor to it? What do you want to store? You got the totality, understand it, make your wish, the cutting board like you have in your body. What do you call it? B12. You change the B12, it becomes a nail cell. You change the B12, it strengthens another cell, it becomes your heart cell becomes, now you become B12 in emotion in respect to the system. You decide what comes out of it. Is it that difficult? If the man realizes what I've given you, man will commit suicide because he has everything he needed and he was wishing for it and now he's in the sand. But still the point of greed doesn't allow him to see the truth. You are two greedy creatures. Oh, that's your demise. There's no question, Is adding to the knowledge, is that that's why you keep on adding load to bring the thing into balance, and the more load you put, the more balance you bring. In, in electronics, we call it resonance. Yeah? You're just trying to bring the balance in. You can create a very simple way, simple energy, the same way. This, the unbalanced field, in what you saw with the Alex's unit is the reason for the production of energy. Because here, if these two, if you didn't have this here, it won't go with that easy. This loop gives back continuously, so it creates unbalance with the next one. So that creates the flow, the release of fields. In Alex's bead, you did the same. All you did was you put two of the same in, and what you did, you put one back to itself, and you put one back to this chap here. Or you did the vice versa, you made this to be the seed of the other. So what you did here, you created a higher, here, lower. And the interaction between the continuous balance, plasma trying to balance itself, it gave you the power. And this is one thing none of you understood. Plasma responds to injustice, unbalance, trying to give enough that it becomes balanced. And in that process, you take some which gives you to you what you call free, because you're blind to the reality of the process, but nothing is free. Because it's a releasing to satisfy, to give as its habit, to bring everything in equality that it doesn't need to give more. And in that process, you have put so many millions of millions of plasmas that they all respond, so you have a continuous, what you call free energy. It's a plasma, it's a DC. It's a continuous, the same energy. Okay, what I, what I was explaining is to Sandy and Mr. Westinghouse, <laughs> is that when you look at the power supply, you go to the grid, and this way you go to the load. The grid to you, the plug, is fooling you, because you think the supply is coming from the electricity, from the main grid. The only thing it does, and I've explained this many times, is the frequency which, as I said, like the soul, as you need, it gives. What the plasma sees continues losses and continues demand. So what it does, it tries to meet, to satisfy this, to make this to a one continuous plasma. And then in that process, you're picking up the DC flow of the plasma. 
Uh, there was a comment about the uh, government and so on uh, from Esther, who says, we see the government enslave us via the cost of energy. That's why there grows a wish to become independent, not to cheat the government. Ah, oh, that's your excuse. What about the guy in the jungle of Africa or in what do you call it, Amazons? And don't forget, you voted your own brother to become your president, so now you become your sister's slave. You put him there. Because he didn't trust in your own strength. Why do you establish governments to make rules? Because you can't keep to the basic rules of this universe, to be correct. And then you blame them? And the ones who are the abusers, they chip you now. We chip you there from your money and we chip you in your skin to know where you are. <coughs> um, there's a question. Can home factories be accepted by the Cash Foundation? More than the public factories. As long as what you call a home factory. We have to create a level of what I call busyness, not business, being busy. Otherwise, man gets bored and we have more problems. So, some people will do it at home and some will do it in the mass, but all in the sick of can't do it. This will be like a fish and chip shop, a takeaway shop around every corner in the next few weeks and months. The simplicity of it is the beauty of it. And then people will kick each other. I'm waiting for the day that people start building gold castles and asking the Queen of England, can you come take some? Some more to rub. If you know what is planned for Iran by the monarchy of England, is Syria is a picnic party. Just for the gold reserves of National Bank of Iran. We will not let it happen. The monarchy has finished. Because man finds peace in it. Man finds peace with himself, it'll be the next step. Mr. Cash, this is Dave George again. Can you tell us when you will uh, release the information on how the power supply is built? We already have, you're blind. Already, all of it is in public. You want to see how we do it? It's a different matter. Well, first it was Alex Beads, and then it was the nanocoating. Let me, let me explain to you. What I develop is mine. What the others do is humanity. So I've given you what is done by the universe. It's you who just better distinguish what is where. Nothing wrong with Alex. That is what he does as a human. That is, he understood and he delivered. Unconditional, which a lot of you wouldn't do. You, you all go and hide behind sickness and um, with a migraine and uh, printing and chopping and chipping in the back and God knows different factories and trying to pattern it. He's the first decent, honest man you've seen in your life. At least as a human on condition of sharing the knowledge and the energy and whatever is your greed. What we release as a magra power is the attribute of beauty of God. It's for you to understand it and how to use it. Springs has been there for years and barbecue shop has been there for centuries. And man made the first gans when he barbecued the first meat. They are too materialistic and blind to the reality. If you understand how to use these macro systems, what we put as and the way they are created, the reason for it they've been generated, 
you have everything you need. And everything has been taught. There is nothing new when, when you see it. A lot of you will put a hammer to it, drill into it, national companies try to get into it, and when they open it, they'll be shocked. Have we been so fooled for so long, not seeing it? But don't forget, you have, unfortunately, the, the work of Tesla, what we call AC. If all the systems would have done with the Edison type on the DC, this system will fit into it perfect. As I said to the manufacturers, now we have to find a DC heater and an AC heater, because then you tuck into the universal energy. In the universe, there is no AC. Would you say that mankind will need to transition to a new type of, of device and get off the, the AC part because it doesn't really interface you with... You already have it. You already have all the DC knowledge you need. Everything in DC is available. Why does we market it to cover the AC? Now, why do you want to go that way when you understand how to create the plasma directly from where it is? All the systems are there. If you want to produce it, just use the plasma. Don't go and go back into the matter state. You want heating, you can do it with the plasma. You want cooking, you can do it with the plasma. You want light, you can do. You want flight, what else you want? Try to be the load, not the load bearer. Then you will see what you can make. Then you become any load you like to be. A heater, a cooker. And knowledge. It all depends on you. I, will, I have given you the what they call the poison chalice. It's you who's drinking from it. You have a chalice of greed, you will be greeted with it. If you want energy and peace, you'll come with it. You'll be amazed what I've given you when you understand and you don't listen. I keep on telling you, the system gives you continuously standard one level DC, full energy spectrum of a plasma. And you still go for the low vibration. What is fitting to my electric heater? Two kilowatt, that's what you understand we speak your language. The people who have plasma, you can have 10 billion watt, which is very, very good. Not bad for a small system. And that is for eternity. Carry the unit with you across the universe, you have it as long as you exist. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Indeed. See you later. Bye. Okay, that's the end of the morning session. For but don't Thursday forget, Friday. before you finish, don't forget to send email to your ambassadors to attend the meeting or at least to send a delegation, knowing most of them are in Milan, getting their physicality. Thank you very much. And this is the 82nd Knowledge Seeker Workshop, right? Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Mr. Cash. Thank you. Right, okay, thank you. Um, yes, it's morning session, but the 82nd Knowledge Seekers Workshop for Thursday, October 8, 2015. And uh, as usual, thank you everybody for attending.